Hi. Now I've got an example here which is fairly typical of examples you can get where you've got to solve a matrix equation. We've got three matrices, say A, B and C, which are non-singular matrices. And we're given that C times A times B equals B. And we've got to find an expression for A. So how do we go about questions like this? Well, it relies on this idea that we've discussed in earlier tutorials about the identity matrix I, let's say I equals 1, 0, 0, 1. Remember the identity matrix leaves no other matrix, let's say X, under multiplication, it leaves it unchanged. So X times I or I times X will always give you X. And I also plays a special role when it comes to inverse matrices. If you multiply X with its inverse matrix, then it's exactly the same as multiplying the inverse matrix with X and it gives you the identity matrix. So we use these results to solve matrix equations. And we'll just take this one as a typical example. So let's just copy it in. C A B equals the matrix B. And we've got to find an expression for A. Make A the subject if you like. Now with matrix equations you do not have division. So you can't go around saying oh I just want to get rid of this B. I'll divide both sides by B. You shouldn't really do that. It doesn't exist. All we can do is to work with multiplication. And so what we do is we try and get rid of this B here by multiplying to the right both sides by the inverse of B. So therefore we would have CAB multiplied by the inverse of B equals, and on the other side we take B and we multiply that by the inverse of B. So we do the same operation on the right hand side okay, of each of these two sides. So what is the result of this? Well, B times its inverse gives us the identity matrix. Any matrix times its inverse always gives us the identity. So therefore we're going to have CA times the identity matrix I equals I. And what effect does I have on any multiplication? Well, we've seen here that it leaves the matrix unchanged. So if you were doing CA times I, you'd expect to get just the matrix CA. So we'd have CA equals I. Now to work our way towards A, we now need to get rid of the C. So we need to pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of C. In other words, C with a minus 1 here, the inverse of C multiplied by C times A equals the inverse of C times the matrix I. So the inverse of C times C gives us the identity matrix. So therefore we have I times A equals and if we multiply any matrix by the identity here, it leaves it unchanged. We just get back the inverse of C. And the identity matrix times A is just going to be A. It leaves it unchanged. So A equals the inverse of C. Now, I've put in every step here. I'm sure if you were working this out you could jump steps quite easily so uh, that's fine but just as I say I wanted to put those steps in so you saw quite clearly I hope how we broke down um, a problem like this. Okay well that brings us now to the end of this particular tutorial on solving matrix equations.